Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel for FC 24 Grimald. You can see here that this is the schedule for today's episode. First off, Champions League action against FC Copenhagen, which we're going to simulate. We're going to play Bournemouth away, simulate Forest at home, play Leeds United away, play RB Leipzig away, and then play West Ham United at home. So they were the four games in today's episode, Forest and Copenhagen simulated. And then for the next episode, we've got Brentford, Brighton, and and Spurs taking us to the month of December and into January, where there's only two games currently at the moment. We're looking to go far in all competitions, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and so on. So I'm expecting more games. I'm expecting the need to use the full squad. Let's get into the first game of the episode, a simulation against FC Copenhagen. We're coming with a 3-1 win over FC Copenhagen. Maximo Perón, Joel and Dala and Mateusz Nunes on the score sheet. They scored through last in the 68th minute. Ratings-wise, man of the match from EA Sports goes to Joel and Dala with an 8.4 rating. Great performance from him, but he wasn't the only one. Mateusz Nunes and Maximo Perón, who also got on the score sheet, clearly impressing in this Champions League fixture. Good news for Mark Goy, he has returned from injury back to first team training sessions now. It won't be long before we see him back in the starting eleven or in and around the squad. It's time for AFC Bournemouth away from home now, who sit 20th place in the Premier League table here at the Vitality Stadium. Odero starts to go, it's Renan Lodi, Sanessi, Captain Lloyd Kelly and Max Aaron's the back four. Uh, Katara, Ravea, uh, Renoshia and Mane, Sadio Mane in the midfield four. Is Coronado in behind Kumane up top. Joe Gomez, Curtis Jones, Jonas Finn, Travers Mep and Christian Moore on the bench. It's not that bad of a, a Bournemouth side. I mean, they've got Sadio Mane in there, but they have lost three of their last five games out of form. Uh, Nico Ravea is the key man defensively and attacking wise in midfield. This is a side for AC Bournemouth today in goal starts. Edison is Jan Kuto, Captain Diaz, Josh Govardio and Callum Doyle along the back floor. Phil Foden, Claudio Echeverria and Rico Lewis start in the midfield three with Savio on the right, Docu on the left and Julian Alvarez through the middle on the metric got Oscar Bob, Yamamo Ciela, Jack Grealish, Eze, Maximo Perot, Mateusz Nunes and Max Elaine. Uh, Stone misses out today due to suspension. Goy is still not back and the rest are a little bit tired maybe. Uh, Yamal Baptiste misses out as well so is Makati and Zabias of course. But still a strong enough side, especially to be a side in Bournemouth down in 20th position. So here at the Vitality Stadium arriving there is Julian Alvarez, Manchester City's top goal scorer this season. And the Premier League's top goal scorer. It is second versus top of the table. City versus Bournemouth. Radiol stays with him. Callum Doyle in there. Good challenge by Doyle. Echeverri brings it away. Foden. Look at the space for Jeremy Doku. What a ball by Phil Foden onto the chest of Jeremy Doku here. Chased by Lloyd Kelly. Docky passed him. Docky with a chance here. 1-0 City. An assist for Foden. A goal for Jeremy Docky. Lovely ball to that far left-hand side by Phil Foden. Docky in so much space. They can't stop him and it's the goal. Lloyd Kelly tried to close him down. Lovely finish by Docky on that right foot past the goalkeeper. Odero. Very nice finish by Jeremy Docky. Sneaks it between the arm and leg. And City lead the vitality with their first shot of the game. And Jeremy Docu's third of the season now. Vardio. Echeverri. Oh, I mean, Ruben Diaz makes an absolutely horrid mistake there. And Bournemouth equalise. Goal conceded again. Edison, I mean, the shot on target at the moment seems like a goal. I feel like Edison should do so much better. Doesn't keep that one out. But Ruben Diaz, I mean... Is he Manchester City quality to play this, this style of football? Ruben Diaz. That is the big question. Rico Lewis. I'm going to knock it round well. Rico Lewis. Good footing by Rico. Not once but twice. Doku into Rico Lewis. City nick it in front of their own box here. And across to Savio. 2 on Manchester City. Placed in the top corner. Brilliant by Savio. Manchester City take the lead. And 2 on we lead Bournemouth now. Well, we shouldn't have conceded that other goal. That's great play. Lovely play from Rico Lewis. Rolls it across to Savio in space at the far post. And he puts it in the top corner. I mean, it looks even better when the goalkeeper's going near post. And Savio says, yeah, I'm going top left hand corner, top right hand corner. There's no way you're stopping that one. City 2, Bournemouth 1. Back in front here, Manchester City. But I'm not happy with our defensive issues at the moment. Too many goals conceded. Way too many goals conceded. And away by Jan. Down by Docker to Phil Foden. And Manchester City. Wouldn't really say we're a counter-attack inside, but we play that way. Great challenge by Irveya. Vadil can't win it. And here is Katara to make it 2-2. Crap defending again from Manchester City. 
Embarrassing defending from Manchester City. And the opposition equalise. I'm not happy with the defence at all at the moment. I mean, again, the striker, Alvarez, unable to hold up the ball. Gives it away. And City are caught out. Jan Kuto, lovely ball in towards Jeremy Doku. Doku. Rico. Echivere. Foden. Savio. Echivere. Oh, good play from Manchester City. Rico Lewis in on him. Gives him a good kick. We're going to go in level at half time at 2 2. The defending. The defending is so poor from Manchester City. Half time, 2 2 ball. It should just be 2 0. We should not concede two goals. Nice pass from the corner. Reveille. Good pace from Kumane. Against Ruben Diaz. Stops him. Sadio Mane. Goes back wide. Katara. Pass Callum Doyle. Ruben Diaz tries to stop it. Say by this, I think, just. Pass Max Aarons. Musiala. Onto Grealish. Back to Musiala. Oh, Musiala gives it away. It looks like it's going to be a draw here at the Vitality against bottom of the league, Bournemouth. Vardy all fouls him. He'll take the yellow card here. Only ourselves. I mean, there's no yellow card for Vardy all there. I don't know how. We only ourselves to blame here. Oh, Echivere. Brilliant. Dan Kuto. Savio. In. Musiala. Oh, heavy touch on the chest of Yama Musiala. Rico Luis beaten to it. And that is full time. 2 2 in bottom of the table, Bournemouth. And I'm not happy. I am not happy at all with that defensive performance there, City. Well, good news, Kevin De Bruyne is now back in training as well. It will take him still probably till the next episode, but him and Goyi are back and ready, and, and we missed De Bruyne in that midfield. So with us unable to make signs this season, we have gone with Mateusz Nunes at right back, but maybe long term he wants to move back into the midfield and we look for a new right back. And a player who's played for us before and been linked with Manchester City in real life is Pedro Porro of Spurs. Did play for City, uh, well, was signed from Girona, loan to Sporting, then sold on permanent deal to Sporting and then bought by Spurs. So far in 15 appearances, he's got three goals and six assists. He's a versatile fullback, selling both inside and outside roles, which is exactly what we want in our fullbacks. He's proven the league at a top performer, showcasing defensive defensive solidity and also offensive flair and he's showcasing as well noteworthy creativity and a scoring threat with impressive long range strikes we've seen many a times from Pedro Porro he's certainly the typical sort of fullback that maybe Roberto Di Zerbi would look for on the right hand side maybe a better option than Mateusz Nunes of course Nunes will have his chance this year to develop as a right back if he impresses he'll stay there but if not we can easily move him back into midfield and look to sign a player maybe like Pedro Porro and a 1-0 win at home against Nottingham Forest up next in a simulation. It's a missed penalty from Eze, actually. And it took a 76th minute winner from Joel and Dahl to give Manchester City a 1-0 win. And Dahl gets man of the match at 8.4. I mean, look at the range of the City side. Everyone played well by Vardy, who came on. And still only 1-0. 8.4 rating for Dahl, who And Edison as well must have had a really good game in goal. But, I mean, just scraping by. At least a clean sheet. But just scraping by against 19th place Forest there. We're currently sitting third in the Premier League table, four points off league leaders, Liverpool and second place Arsenal. We do have a game in hand, however, and three points today against Leeds United at Ellen Road away from home will put us within one point of going top. A well, pre-match report for Leeds shows they have really improved their team, and I'm very surprised that they sit in only 13th place and with three losses from their last five. Melier is the goalkeeper with Fry, Llorente, Cresswell and Obradora, the back four. Captain Inaki Williams, Sofian Amrabat, Gurev and Jacob Ramsey in there. And it's Arda Gula in behind. Okafor up top. Angel Gomez, Marcout, uh, Sam Greenwood, Gelhart, Christensen, Pierre and Klaas on the bench. Key attacking players, Gula and Okafor. That's a really, really good front line for Leeds. How they managed to sign those two, I don't know. Inaki Williams as well and Jacob Ramsey. Maybe it's the back line that's causing them problems. This aside for Leeds United today. Edison starts and goal. It's Jan Kuto, Captain Stones, Vardiel and Callum Doyle at the back four. Matthias Nunes gets a start. In midfield, not a right back, alongside Martin Zumendi and Phil Foden. It's Alvarez up top with Doku on the right, and Yel Musiela on the left. On the bench, we've got Oscar Bob, Savio Echivere, Rico Lewis, Maximo Peron, Valentin Barco, and Ruben Diaz. The rest are rested because in two days' time, we do have a game against RB Leipzig, our final game of the Champions League campaign. So, arriving at Ellen Road, Leeds United back in the Premier League and looking to take on a strong Manchester City side here. We're in a bit of a transition period under a new manager but still looking to improve when and where we can. Leading 13th with some really good signings, Okafor and Arda Gula, the two players to look out for. Definitely different to Rico Lewis in that position. Doyle to Foden. Doku. Musiala in space here. Musiala 
First away, Yama Musiala, when he starts, he tends to play well. Musiala, save Alvarez, 1-0 City. Within four minutes, we take the lead here at Ellen Road. Pulling out Alvarez for the goal. Musiala just unlocked them straight away on the counter. Yama Musiala, what a bit of play on his left-hand side. Strike save by Meliate, falls straight to Alvarez, who gets number 12, I think, in the Premier League season, that is. 13-11 games, he's flying at the moment, Julian. And Manchester City lead already by one goal to nil. Struggling here, Vardiol. Rock across here. Chance for Okafor, is the Calendar with a great challenge. Zermendi away. Give it away by Mateusz Nunes. Off the crossbar. Okafor with the overhead kick and save by Edison. Well, how many times do we make mistakes like that in that position? How many times do we make mistakes like that in that position? Too many times. We can't keep making no mistakes. And Mateusz Nunes this time with the mistake. We've got to do better there. It's causing them all sorts of problems. Alvarez. Chased by Fry. To Musiala. Through to Foden. Phil Foden dinks it over. Off the crossbar by Phil Foden. Foden across. Can't win it either. Foul knocker for Ramsey up against Jan Kuto. First pass him. Doku dives in. A late one by Jeremy Doku. Okafor, past John Stones. Okafor! Oh my God, Edison! Off Edison and in, and City concede again. Well, firstly, John Stones, terrible defending, but Edison there goes through the Brazilian. Who's out of form at the moment, Edison, really out of form. Shot goes through him. City concede again, no clean sheet. Jan Q to Alvarez. Jeremy Doku, eyes lit up here, Doku, because they're not going to catch him. Doku, 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 City take the lead on an individual goal from Jeremy Doku, who once he gets going, you do not catch him, two on Manchester City, good goal for Doku, good play, and he's off and, and they didn't know what to do with him there, nice finish by Jeremy Doku, City lead just before half time 2-1, Doku's fourth of the season, but I'm not happy with the goals we conceded him. Half time, Manchester City 2, Leeds United 1, but a goal conceded again thanks to an individual mistake and very poor goalkeeping from Edison, which seems to be the theme at the moment. We've had a bit more control in this game than we've had in recent fixtures, actually, which is one thing I'm happy with. Foden. Chances for City. Foden. Foden. It's Callum Doyle from fullback. Oh, and he puts it wide. Matthias Nunes holds them off again. Foden, City struggling to break down this lead side. Mateusz Nunes, Musiala, Musiala, good save, oh, doesn't fall to Alvarez at the far post. Vardiol, the space of Phil Foden here. Foden behind to Musiala, 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 lovely feet, Musiala, off the post. Oh my word, what a goal that would have been from Musiala, lovely feet. Nunes, Alvarez here. Leanne. Oh, through to Foden. Great play. Phil Foden now. Foden for City. Saved by Melier. Here's Gula. Out of Gula. Against Stones. Back he goes into Bosca Bob. City get it back here. Here's Alvarez. Here's Musiala. Trouble for Leeds United. Yama Musiala. Who's missed chance after chance today. Musiala this time does not miss. 3-1 Manchester City. That is game. And it's three points coming our way at Ellen Road. Made it difficult for ourselves at times. Played some beautiful football at times. Defensively, the goal we conceded. And offensively, missing chances. And a ball through to Jan Musiala. And a great finish by a German. Stones for Diaz. Just, let's just see this game out. Nice finish from Musiala into the far corner. So Mendy. That's good play. Vardial, full time. Savio doesn't get on. 3 1 Manchester City. Three points. Heading our way. A goal conceded, but a lot better today, especially in control in the game. But we've still got a lot to improve on. Roberto De Zerbi has got a lot to work on in training with his Manchester City side. Well, the sports game match to Julian Alvarez with two assists and a goal today, actually. I didn't realise how involved he had been. But I'm going to give it to Jeremy Docker. I thought he was very impactful on that right hand side. 8.1 rating. Good play by Docker.
Well, Crystal Palace aren't doing great in the Premier League this season, but a player on loan from us at Crystal Palace is Kane Taylor. 16 appearances so far for Crystal Palace in all competitions. Two goals and two assists. The dynamic central midfielder possesses exceptional versatility. He can play at left back anywhere, really defensive attacking midfield. And he's seamlessly transitioning between box-to-box -box roles, which I really do like about him. He's a powerful, commanding, driving runs, relentless energy and impressive press resistance. He dominates the midfield, dictating play with uh, precision and vigour. And he's one of the standout players for Crystal Palace this season in the Premier League on loan for us. And I think that looking at him, he's a real powerful midfielder who's technically gifted, can drive with the ball forward, can break up play as well. He's exactly the sort of midfielder that Roberto Di Zerbi will be looking for in a more defensive role you think of your Moises Caicedo but with more athleticism signed from Aston Villa many years ago now into City's youth system and now playing Premier League action playing Premier League football a high level for Crystal Palace even though Palace aren't doing well he is really shining and I think next season Roberto Di Zerbi will look at Kane Taylor and say listen it looks like you are ready for a bit of a chance at Manchester City and playing first team football for the City side because he continues to press like he does till the end of the season well, I thought this game against RB Leipzig in the Champions League would be a dead rubber, but it's not. We go away to Leipzig now, looking to finish top of our group on 12 points, with Leipzig only three points behind. A win for them would put them perhaps top of the group, possibly on goal difference, possibly on head-to-head. -head. I think we need to go and get a draw at Leipzig. Best result for us. As for other groups, there's a lot of results that are already gone through. Bayern and Real Madrid go through. Monaco into the Europa League. Barcelona into Milan through. That animal Kiev into the Europa League. Benfica and Leverkusen through. Manchester United into the Europa League. Juventus and Marseille through. Liverpool into the Europa League. Shock there. Milan and Aleti. And Celtic still not decided. Obviously our group we know. Betis could still go through as well. Dortmund and Arsenal. Salzburg still in the group. PSV also on six points. They're all in that race. PSG, Roma and Newcastle still not decided either in Group H. Well, pre-match reports shows that Leipzig will still go with that 4 double 2 or triple 2 Schmitty and Jeremy Pino are the partners up top with Dybala and Baumgarter in the wide areas. Haidari and Chavez Schlager in the midfield too with Robertson, Casale, Ibanez, De Lorenzo and Captain Trapp in goal. Noah Panda, who's uh, up ended today, who's suspended. It's Novoa, Gallardo, Cunha, Rafa, Issy Parathon. They've got Golashki and also Carlos Augusto on the bench. 1-3 and lost 2 so far. Second in the group. Key player Roger Ibanez, the centre-back. Just so aside for RB Leipzig, we have had to ro rotate slightly due to, uh, you know, fitness and so on. So, no Doyle, no Zubimendi, no Nunez, no Foden, no Stones, no Musiela, no Alvarez, no Jan Kuto, and no Josh Govardiol either. Kevin Iran is still injured. However, there is a return to the side for Mark Goyi, who comes in in the back line. So, it's Brits in goal, Rico Luis Goyi, Diaz the captain, and Barco the back line. Eze, Grealish, and Maximo Pirone in the midfield three. Liam Delap, Savio, and Joel and Dalla, the front three. On the bench, got Oscar Bob, Jeremy Doku, Zabayos, Echivere, Makati, Elaine, and Yamal Baptiste. For the final game of the Champions League group stage, Manchester City versus RB Leipzig. Spike Brits given a chance in goal in the Champions League. Big names, big players, big contest. Tricky, Chimiti. That's that one run. Leipzig going to give it away. Enrico Lewis, great vision there, straight into Joel and Dalla. And Dalla. And Dalla, 1-0 Manchester City. This guy is going to be an absolute superstar. Joel and Dalla gives Manchester City a 1-0 lead. What a goal by our man on the left-hand side there. An absolutely spectacular young player. Come through our youth system and just keeps getting better and better. Skips inside onto his left foot and fires it into the top right-hand corner. Great finish by Joel and Dalla. Really, really good play. Didn't give up on that chance there. He scored again. How many has Ndala scored this year in the Champions League? That's his second in five games. But a great goal by Joel Ndala. Manchester City lead within the first 10 minutes here in Leipzig. Rico Lewis across. Goy here with a foul here, is it? Referee does give a foul. It's a freaking a very good position for Paulo Dybala here. Dybala off the post. What's happened here? Did that go in? Did that go in? I think Spike Brits keeps that out. Why won't it let me play the... That's the end of the clip. So the clip doesn't even... go. That is dodgy. The clip does not even go to where the ball goes in. 
Well, maybe after a, a bit of play now, we can go back and check. Did that go in? The game clip stops before the ball even goes in. So they can't even check if it went in or not. That is some dodgy stuff in the Champions League. I think Spike Bricks kept that out. There's eight. Will he drive a high dower tackles him? Just dodgy decision in the Champions League there against us. I think he kept that out, Spike Brits. Right to Rico Lewis. Savio. Grealish back to Savio. Savio for Manchester City. Big save by Trap. Really big save by Trap. Corner ball. So Perone out to close the space. Schlager. Schmitty. Good tackle by Goy. Brilliant tackle by Goy. Here's Savio. And Savio can play that ball to Liam Delap here. Delap's got a chance. Delap. He's a big man, Delap. He's done well. Liam Delap with a strike. He's just past the post. Really good win back. Play to Indala. Joel Indala who's got so much energy, so much pace, so much skill. Indala's off. Indala. Indala. Indala! Good save by Trap. And lumped away by Leipzig. Great play by Joel Indala. Again off that left-hand side. Barco goes and wins it and then lost it to the second man. Goyi's out there. He can't win it either. He's beaten to it. Leipzig with a whip to the far post and the volley. Ruben Diaz with an absolute shocker. Ruben Diaz. I do not think he's a Manchester City level player anymore. I know he's 92 rated, but my word. It's week in, week out. Every time he plays, he's something. And again here today, what is that from Ruben Diaz? Embarrassing from our centre-back. And come summer, he's gone. That's a Perón. Maximo Perón. Movement by Grealish. Grealish. Through to De Lapp here. Liam De Lapp rides the challenge. Liam De Lapp makes it 2-2. Good goal from De Lapp. Pick that ball up. Come on, City. Good goal from Liam there. Found by Grealish and off he goes. And he runs through. Can't be challenged. It's a good finish by a lap into that side netting. I mean, is the lap good enough for Manchester City as well? I know he's there because we can't sign a striker to replace Haaland. Is the lap good enough? He's out of position again here, Valentin Barco. Maximo Pidon covers. Dalla wins it back for his team. Well, and Joel and Dalla. Oh, referee. Get Baumgarter off. Second yellow card. See you later. Second time, Christopher Baumgart has put in an absolutely disgusting challenge. This time on Barco, which could have been a straight run its own. When you are in a yellow card, why are you even making that challenge? Why even make that challenge? I don't know. But he's off now. He's well under pressure. Grealish. Diaz. Maximo Pirot. Eze. Eze in behind to Indala here. Here's Joel Indala. Pulls it back for Eze. Good block on the line by Leipzig and away. Baptiste beat him. Going in a foot race here. Goye looks slow because he's tired. Carlos Augusto. A little back heel away from Goye. Max Lane to do it, defending he can't do. 3 2 RB Leipzig. Who could go top of the group with a win here today. 3 2, good goal. We don't score our chances, and Leipzig do. Comes across it. Rolls it into the bottom corner. Is this he plays on? Maybe Spike Brick should do better there. 3 2 to Leipzig. Here's Oscar Bob. Good running from Bob here. Bob for City. Into Echivere. Echivere! Oh! Wide by Claudio Echivere. City pushing for that equaliser. Otherwise, we're finishing second in the group. We're tackled by Bob Echivere. Wide he goes to Savio here. Last chance to loom for City. Savio. Echivere! Blocked on the line by Di Lorenzo. Corner ball. In by Savio. Echivere in there. Bob back out. Referee blows the full-time whistle. Defeat in Leipzig. Manchester City lose 3-2. And does that mean Manchester City finish second in their Champions League group? It just might. Well, despite that defeat to Leipzig, we still go through top of our group on one goal difference. Meaning Leipzig go through on 12. Betis actually lost to Copenhagen anyway. Or Drew, so that didn't make a difference. But City are through top. And we get a bit lucky there, but we did lose two games in our Champions League group stage this year. One to Betis, one to Leipzig, which I'm not happy about. 
Well, striker our scouts has picked out a bit of a wild card signing would be Evan Lisson of Frankfurt. Plays in the Bundesliga. Only four goals, no assists so far in 11 appearances in the Bundesliga. But he's a dynamic and robust striker with explosive pace, commanding height and a clinical eye for goal. Ideal for a high chance creation style, statistically poised to significantly increase goal scoring output at top tier level. And basically what our scouts are saying is they've watched Evan Lisson play. Of course, he played for Porto and for a while. Now he's in the Bundesliga playing for Frankfurt. Frankfurt aren't a great team. But when they can Create a good chance for, for Van Lissen. and Van Lissen finished it. Yes, he's only scored four goals in 11 appearances, but our scouts do believe a bit of a wild card signing, maybe a bit of a risk signing if we can get him a bit cheaper. To bring in this Brazilian big man, he would be a man who comes in, maybe at the best goal record in the Bundesliga, but if we create chances, he'll put them in the back of the net, and that is something we do want. We want maybe a more clinical striker, or we certainly are looking at strikers, fullbacks, midfielders, and so on to, to improve the side if we do get to move in the next transfer window, maybe next summer if we get that appeal done. But Evanderson is a wild card idea. Well, Liverpool and Arsenal sit top of the Premier League table, level on 38 points. And he's Liverpool ahead just on goal difference. We sit behind in third on 37, Newcastle in fourth. And the side we face the Etihad today is fifth place, West Ham United. So the final game of the episode on West Ham United looked like this. They've won three of their last five, drawing one and losing one. Lafont starts in goal. It is Romero, Captain Mancini, Odonyeth and Rico Henry, the back four. Solchek and Philly Downs part in the midfield too with Afif, Lucas Paqueta and Doan in front. Santiago Jimenez, the striker up top. Warprouse, Gunter, Corne, some of the attacking options on the bench as well as Mohamed Kunis with Areola, Kelder and also De Los Santos on the bench for them. Still in charge is David Moyes. I'm surprised Paqueta, Jimenez don't come up as key attacking players. Both those 85 rated plus. It's the side for West Ham United then today. Edison starts single. It's Mateusz Nunes, Stones, Vardiel and Doyle the back for... Returning is Kevin De Bruyne, who will take that captain's armband once again, back from injury and straight back in the starting eleven with Phil Foden and Martin Zubamendi. These Alvarez up top with Docker on the right and Yamal Musiela on the left. On the bench, we've got Oscar Bob, Zabayos, Echi Vede, Makati, Jan Kuto, Maxelain, Yamal Baptiste, Diaz, Barco, Delap and Dalagrish, Eze, Savio, Maximo Peron, Goy and Lewis all miss out due to being unfit. We'll be at the Etihad Stadium and there it is, focusing on the man who's returned to the side, Kevin De Bruyne, 35 years of age in the City side. Pressure on him to be the linchpin for City again. Try to win it back though. He's he's recovered well. Pakatar. That's Vardiol. Pakatar. Strike from Lucas Pakatar. Edison manages to put it behind for a corner. But I am a little bit worried about Edison at the moment. He started the season so well. I feel like in recent games he's been pretty shaky. Chance here saved by Edison. Stones gets there, but he has been very shaky this season, Edison. Kimenez, so stupid for Mateus Nunes and myself. Rico Henry. Mateus Nunes goes and win it back. He's got such such power to run. Foul again! No way, ref. No way. Balling by West Ham United. Free header here! Scrambling save by the resilient Edison. Into Callum Doyle. Doyle on the right foot, blocked away. Musiala in there. Fighting again. West Ham just get it away. Doyle press him. Wide they go. Musiala can't win it back. West Ham with a nice ball in behind towards Jimenez here. And he's past Vardy all way too easy. Jimenez. Santiago Jimenez got interception by Stones behind for a corner. Too easy Manchester City. Way too easy Vardy all there. Bowden. Oh, you lucky boy. Good defence. Good play. Jimenez. Vardy all wrong side of him again there. Too quick for his own good Vardy all. Jimenez. Good save by Eddie. Behind for another corner. He's too quick for his own good there. Trying to jockey it and then go in. They've had five corners to our numb. Case my Mateus Nunes on this far side. Look at the space for Kudus on the other side. If Pakatar can switch it. Into Doamp. Who's away here? Doamp. De Bruyne is playing right back at the moment. Vardiol. Beaten by Doan. Doan! Goal for West Ham. Yoshko Vardiol. Like a Sunday league defender. Absolutely done there by Doan. Onto the left foot and into the top left hand corner. And I don't think we're coming back from this one. We don't like scoring here. Phil Foden's injured now. It's brilliant. Echivere will come on. Why is De Bruyne right back? Lovely feet by Doku. Doyle. Echivere. Into Alvarez. Can't find him. Echivere still. Off. Oh, Callum Doyle is stood in the way there. With the ball going to De Bruyne on the edge of the box. And now we go and smash another one with Doyle. Sick of the City playing like this. Yellow card for Doyle. I mean, that's as bad as Stones is. 
Doyle there. That's frustration because he gets in the way of De Bruyne having a shot on the edge of the box. Max Elaine well played. Echivede. De Bruyne. Back to Claudio Echivede. Echivede. Alvarez in space here. Echivede! Oh! Just still the ball by Echivede. Tried it. So unlucky. Max Elaine. Lovely defending from Elaine. Into Oscar Bob. Look at the space in the middle. Oscar Bob. Echivede! Saved by Ariola right down the middle of the Frenchman. Echivede. Alvarez. Alvarez into Echivede. Echivede! Save again by Lafont. After score. Cross him. De Bruyne with the head to the far post. Vardial's not there. Max Alain. Back out. Callum Doll didn't want to go for it. Down to Edison. City pushing for an equaliser. Max Alain from Manchester City. From defence. From centre back. Max Alain, brilliant. Alvarez in. Echivede can't get there. Mancini intercepts. Poor ball by Alvarez. Is it or a free kick? But the time's up already. 2 0 West Ham United. Mohamed Kudus, 2 0 West Ham United. Full time, Manchester City 0, West Ham United 2. We haven't kept a clean sheet in how long, and we haven't finished a chance in how long. What a way to end the episode. Thanks for watching, but that is shocking for Manchester City, and I'm not happy at all. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new, but what are we doing? We'll see you guys next time. Ahmed Kurdish with a late one there. City sold, so forth.